Uh, despite the falling temperature, some lakes remain unsafe this late in December. On Christmas Eve, a truck driven by John Herman Class in the third went through the ice as he fished on Lake Bemidji. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell joins us live from Worth Lake in Minneapolis with his granddaughter's warning. Kirsten. And Frank, she says they are just heartbroken and they want everyone to just be really careful on the lakes in Minnesota, especially with these recent warm temperatures. And you can see here at Theodore Worth Lake, there's a sign reading danger, keep off, ice not safe. But sometimes the signs aren't so clear. Losing a family member that close to the holidays, it's devastating for everybody. The holidays weren't the same this year for Sarah Dixon and her family. After I found out the truck that fell into Lake Bemidji was my grandpa's truck. I couldn't help but just cry. On Christmas Eve, 69-year-old John Herman Klassen III died after his truck fell through the ice on Lake Bemidji. His girlfriend managed to escape to safety. He thought maybe since it was so cold, maybe there was enough ice there and didn't expect to fall in. He's the first person to die on Minnesota lakes this winter season, which has been unseasonably warm. This year, Lake Bemidji was probably about two weeks behind when it normally uh, freezes over. How do you think this upcoming colder weather will impact Minnesota lake ice? Very for every lake, but it's going to help tremendously with, uh, you know, getting the ice to a, a safer level. The DNR does not measure ice thickness, leaving it your responsibility. For clear ice, they say four inches or more is safe for fishing or walking, five to seven inches for snowmobiles, eight to 12 for cars, and 12 or more for a medium truck. The guidance is doubled for white snow ice. That was gorgeous. That was beautiful. Yeah. Totally like a snow globe. That's what Eric and Heather skied on at Lake Harriet. We try to steer clear of the parts that are pure ice. And I mean, if you see somebody else, like you can see the tracks going this way, it's pretty safe. When in doubt, wait it out. And the DNR says that when we get snow like this, it doesn't really help the ice formation because it acts as insulation. What we really need is a longer stretch of cold temperatures with overnight lows ideally below zero. Frank. All right, Chris's forecast coming up, Kirsten. Thank you very much.